Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Baby here and today I have just this nice smoky eye with gold glitter and the bottom lash line. I really like how it turned out, so if you'd like to see how I got this nice smoky eye, then just keep watching. Let's jump right into the video. Hey guys, first we're going to start with her eyeshadow, which is very different for me. I usually always start with my face makeup, but today I thought I would just change it up a little bit. So what I'm doing is just putting a MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in in W15. Yeah, so the only problem I have with this is I feel like one pump is so, 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 so much. But yeah, so I just like to put that on my lid and then blend it out. I'm going to use the brush here by Makeup Revolution. It's the F103 brush. Okay, so I am looking very crazy right now. I am aware. <laughs> So that's all blended out. Then what I like to do is just set it. You can set it with either an eyeshadow or a face powder. I'm going to just use my BH Studio Pro powder. This is the finish in shade 205. Then I'll just use my makeup, my makeup, <laughs> my Defit Makes setting brush just to set that. This just makes all of the shadows that we're going to put on. I just make sure that all these eyeshadows pop and everything blends nice and easily to just use my Morphe M441 and I'm going to take this the 12 NB palette which I included in my haul <laughs> okay so I'm going to just take this little colour up here first time using this palette so I'm excited okay so I'm just putting that in my crease and a little bit above and blending it out I want to go for quite a mulky brown eye today, just nice and simple. But it's going to be quite soft, it's quite glam but quite soft glam. He too looks like this is just blending it out. Blend, blend, blend. Take this brush here, which is just a bit smaller, which is the M514 brush. Just jump in with this shade here. And a little bit that on my crease. I just want to intensify the look a little bit more. I'll just take a little bit of this and a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of this um, and get off the excess and then just put that in just a bit lower. And we're not worrying about the lid just yet. We're just, and when you think it looks starting to look quite clumpy, what I like to do is just go in with that first colour and your first brush. And then just blend it out again. I'm just taking my Morphe M156. It seems like I'm using a lot of Morphe products. It's just because my last video was a Morphe haul and I really wanted to start using the products. I'm not going to lie. Um, what I'm going to do now is just grab this colour here. The colour I was just using. And I'm going to just put that all over my lid. I'm going to take the same brush that I used there, the smudge brush, but to pack on the colour I used this side, I'm going to use the opposite side. And what I'm going to do is just take this colour here, it's like a chocolatey brown, with a, get a little hint of purple. And what I'm going to do is just create my own crease. And I'm taking it quite far into it there. And again, this is just to add definition. I'm just blending this in the outer V, so the outer V. And then make these. They're not taking much of the shadow at all. I'm trying to take as little as possible. So now I'm going to do the lower lash line. I'm going to just take the same little brush that I was smudging with and that same chocolatey brown, which is down here. And I'm going to just put this very, very close to the lash line. And to make it less dramatic, what I like to do is just go back in with this colour here and then just blend under that. Should I add some glitter? Should I, should I, should I? Yeah, so I'm just going for it. I'm just add. I'm just using this e.l.f. Expert Liquid Liner in colour, just copper. Adding this just to like my inner corner. Packing this on. You can go quite far in, 
Just let that dry and then I think I'm going to add one more layer. I'm pretty sure it's the e.l.f. angle brush or the e.l.f. liner brush or something like that. I'll have it down below as always. My Anastasia Dip Brow Medium Brow. Just do it straight up a little bit. So I'm going to do is just put it in the lid and then just do this. And it just kind of warms it up and softens it up. And it does the job. I am so sorry, almost every eye product I'm using is Morphe. It's not sponsored. Um, I'm going to just take is the Bam Nudit 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 Nudit, you know what I'm talking about, palette, and just take the white colour up there. See, look at that. Like, it's like Bam colour. What I'm going to do is just add a tiny bit more of the glitter because this is dried now, so. I'm going to leave the eyes there now just so that the glare can dry. We jump in with this e.l.f. Illuminating Base Primer. Two seconds and I go wet my beauty blender, which I always forget to do. Okay, I've got my damn beauty blender or my damn Real Techniques Medical Complexion Splint. Probably one of the hardest names ever, but anyway. I'm going to jump in my, with my Lumi Magic. Light infusing foundation and colour rose petal. This foundation, I can never remember the colour. Don't know why. <laughs> but as always, I just like to that around my face. You know the drill. And start blending in. So we're just tapping it in the skin as always. We just jump in with my Pro Conceal Ellie Ghetto in porcelain. I actually have a backup of this just because it is my favourite by far. So just highlighting the high points of my face. And blend again. I just use the same beauty blender because I don't have time to go and wet too. <laughs> and what I'm going to use today is my No BMA Makeup No Colour Powder. What I'm going to just do is just take my sponge and then just place that under my eye. And then with a big brush, I'm going to just take this Makeup Revolution F, is it 404? F404 brush. And just took my face. And I need to remember to put the lid on this because I get a habit of leaving the lids off things and can not imagine dropping this? I think I'd cry. So, um, <laughs> guys, I zoomed out a little bit because I was a bit close. Uh, I'm going to just bronze up my face. Actually, I'm going to take my NYX, NYX blush and top, palp, whatever the hell you say it. Top, palp, top, top, I don't even know. And my Nikita Revolution F 104 brush. Getting off like this. I'm just doing the tiniest amount. That. I'm now going to a bit of my skin. Use my air stippling brush and my makeup revolution. A dual, a dual face sculpt. It looks like this. I'll just take this shit here. Let's bronze up this skin and stop looking pale as hell. Just go back in with my powder brush just to make sure it's all blended and. It's all looking fine. And if you have brought your bronzer or your contour down too low, just get your face powder if I can find it. What do I can't? Can I? Can I? Where the hell is it? That's right here. Right in front of me, as always. Um, it's here, and I'm just taking a tiny bit. Clean that up a little bit. Next, the blush. So this Makeup Revolution Sugar and Honestly, I promise guys this video wasn't sponsored by Makeup Revolution or Morphe but they are probably two of my favourite brands. Um, I'm going to just use that same stippling brush. Now I'll just change this one, it's the Makeup Revolution F103 brush. And just be very very careful because these are very, very very pick and feed. And what we're going to do now, my favourite part, highlighting. Okay, we're going to add quite a bit of highlight today. So I think we should just go all out. 
So I'm using my setting brush and my, can you guess what it is? My Illuminizer. Cut my boob. And I'm going to add the tiniest bit of my Slick Solstice yellow colour. It's actually called something. I think it's called, I don't know. I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> and then again, back in with my supple brush. Just to blend all of this in. Okay, that is us. Next I'm going to just jump in with eyes. So what I'm going to do is, because we did add the concealer, I feel like the intensity of the eyeshadow has gone a little bit. So I'm going to jump in with that orange shade. And then just look it out. Just jump in with mascara and I'm going to use my L'Oreal Telescopic. I'm going to add this tiniest bit because I think I'm going to apply some lashes today. Just put a little bit of my dual clear white glue and I'm just letting that get tacky. Um, I'm just laying my lips with my MAC um, Spice Liner. It's been so long since I used this. And you know why? Because I couldn't paint this shirt now. How bad is that? I was that lazy to find one. But I finally found one and I charmed it. <laughs> I'm going to jump in with a Yash. Just because I want the lips to be really, really neutral. Because the eyes are quite dramatic and I want the tension to be on the eyes. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. So it's just like a nice smoky eye with a little bit of gold glitter. I actually really like how it turned out. But yeah, so if you like these kind of dramatic looks then just let me know. I'm over the listed in the down bar as always and if you enjoyed give it a thumbs up guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!